Kristen and Ryan Yaldor were all smiles on their African adventure last month, but nothing could have prepared them for what was about to happen. I didn't have any fear getting into the canoe whatsoever. The travel and wildlife enthusiasts were canoeing on the Zambezi River with two tour guides when one of the guides said he saw something ahead. He did tell us initially uh, with his binoculars he did see hippos, a group of hippos, he said, up on the right-hand side so that we would need to paddle over to the left-hand side. They steer to the left. We're on the left-hand side, and then what happens? Shortly thereafter is when something popped up underneath our canoe, more towards the middle. The canoe tipped forward to where I fell into the water, forward and towards the deep side. I took two strokes towards the shoreline. The young couple both thrown from the canoe, a terrifying drama. And immediately I was grabbed and pulled underneath the water. Didn't have a chance to scream. It was just so quick and so forceful that I got pulled under and then was starting to be thrashed around underneath the water back and forth. A hippo had its mouth firmly wrapped around her right leg, pulling her underwater, thrashing her back and forth for 45 seconds. Above the water, her husband swam to shore, looked back, and feared the worst. And you didn't do anything to provoke the hippo? No. She was gone. She was nowhere to be seen, just disappeared. And I was very close to feeling myself running out of air. And I grabbed its mouth to try to pry it. It's off my leg, and the only thing I could do was try to curl up as much as possible to try to avoid being thrashed so much that I could keep my hands on its mouth to try to open it. And so I grabbed its mouth between my leg and tried to pry it open. That it finally let me go, and I popped up to the surface and tried to swim, and I couldn't swim. She was helpless with a smashed knee and a broken leg. Was there a moment where you thought, I'm not going to make it? Only after I came back up and thought that if it grabbed me again, then I don't think I could survive that again. Did the hippo come after you again? No, it didn't. I backstroked towards the shoreline, and then my husband and the two guides pulled me out of the water and put me into the canoe safely on the shore. Escaping the jaws of a hippo is no small feat. The animal can weigh up to five tons, and while they're actually herbivores, they kill 500 people in Africa every year. But this was just the beginning of Kristen's harrowing journey home. First, it was a 45 minute wait for paramedics. And so I kept screaming to them, hurry up, you're taking too long. I said, if I'm bleeding out, I am going to lose my life. A tourist helicopter had to be converted to a medevac and then a two week hospitalization in Johannesburg. And finally, a 30 hour air ambulance ride making seven stops all the way home to Tampa. If the bite had happened in a different area on your leg, would you be alive? Probably not. If it was an inch or so in another direction, uh, she probably would have bled out in the canoe and not, not made it any past that. I choose not to think about that because she is here, she is alive, and that's just every, every more reason to be thankful that she is here.